How you love me, I'm up in the booth Said I'm lying, like show me the proof Get in my back, put a six in the deuce Shit like who, I'll keep your bitch, that's juice And you can't walk a mile in my shoes You ain't throw as much shots as I do You don't throw on the Glock like I do And you definitely throw in that block like I do Yes, yeah, sir, what's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to Blasted TV And uh, right now, we got another interesting topic on this channel, man We're gonna be reacting to Orlando Brown And he's basically going after Kanye West and throwing subliminals at him saying that he's a clone now this is just a reaction video you feel me i be having a lot of motherfuckers in my comment section capping man so i'm not saying none of this is real man i'm just saying be optimistic about every motherfucking thing man in this world man we already know that kanye west is a legendary artist in the industry man and he has to have some type of ties to the illuminati i mean this man was a fucking billionaire Come on now, bro. I'm not saying he's the most mentally stable person, but I think he knows more than we do. You know what I mean? He knows what's going on behind the industry and what's going on in the closed doors. This man has been in the building with billionaires, motherfuckers who control this motherfucking world. And Orlando Brown, I really fuck with him. I uh, admire what he's doing because he's putting himself in the spotlight, man. And it's a very dangerous game to play with. So if this nigga end up missing... This nigga just fucking so-called suicide himself or some shit. God forbid nothing like that happens. We gon' know what we gon' know, man. Protect Orlando Brown at all costs, man. We're gonna get right into this motherfucking video, man. The thicker the thicker the lens is, the thicker the lens. I think they're these. So everything that has like Balenciaga. Wow. So everything that has like Balenciaga on it or Versace or anything, you know, he's going out there, he's buying the glasses for cheap. <coughs> Excuse me. And probably Korea. <laughs> Cause he's cool with Kim Jong Un, and then next thing you know, he gets all these glasses and shit for cheap that they, you know, cause they make them and make everybody work in a fucking sweatshop to make them, and then and then 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 he sells them for twenty dollars and he makes a lot. Basically, he's he's basically what he's saying is fuck you, nigga. I'm doing that with with glasses. Mm. That's basically what he's trying to say with his mind. Like fuck you, I did that with glasses. I gave these niggas twenty dollar glasses, bro. Why the fuck would I give them cheaper shoes? Bitch, because I said I'd give it to them for cheaper. Now you motherfucking got $20 shoes. Okay, I'm going to tell you what it is. I love the real Kanye. Man, haven't we had this conversation? I love the real Kanye. But that nigga that be trying to get at me is like, yo, bro, like, there's no competition. You feel me? It's like, it's like... You're Kanye, bro. Even if even in your other body, you're still Kanye, bro. I'm little Orlando <coughs> Brown. What the fuck you want from me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just give, just do people right. Just be right by people. I ain't wrong from saying from saying what the fuck I said, blood. All I said was that nigga need to be giving the shoes away, and I still feel the same way. So nigga, fuck you still. That's to the big Kanye. But the little hey, the only motherfucker, the only person that's rich. With millions of dollars that I respect, who has a shoe line that's not too expensive, is Shaq, man. I ain't gonna lie, motherfuckers was wearing forces, nigga. I was wearing Shaqs, nigga. I used to wear uh, long pants to cover up the side, man. It was the struggle, my guy. The struggle, bro. But I, I gotta uh, give it to Shaq, man. But everybody was making fun of his shit instead of bigging it up. You know what I mean? I feel like that was all a plan. Cause I don't want motherfucker you. If you wear some shacks, niggas gonna make fun of you, nigga. I had a shack hat, nigga, a do rag back in the day. You feel me? Oh, shit, I can go on and on, bro. I'll make that shit work. Kanye with the with the with the, with the collar up and shit that we love. <laughs> we talked about so well that day. The first time we did this, that guy. Oh yeah, I love that guy. He's he's cool. He just wants his shit back, and I want I wanted to stay that way. <coughs> you guys actually realize like like. How there's a taller Kanye and a smaller Kanye, taller Kanye and a smaller. They're fighting for who's gonna be Kanye. They're <laughs> fighting for who's gonna be Kanye, dude, right in front of you. And it's like, yo, bro, leave my fucking brother alone. So is this like a nutty <laughs> yeah. professor type of situation? That's stupid, bro. You see Kanye six feet tall, and then you see him small. You better catch catch the small nigga, give him a hug, man, because he been through a lot of shit to be in that body. He was just trying to eat that day. <laughs> He was he finally got his shit back and that's what Khan the real Kanye be in Did this nigga just say what I thought he said? He was just trying to eat that day. <laughs> he was he he was just trying to eat that day. <laughs> he was he finally got his shit back and that's what Khan the real Kanye be in a real fucking place chilling 
eating, no security. That's Kanye. Mm. Come on, Cam Capone. He got his shit back. And because he got his shit back, the fake Kanye filmed him and was like, oh, this ain't Kanye. Look at him. Ah. It's basically what he was saying, bro. It is like, yo, man, Kanye eats. Kanye hops out of fucking million dollar cars, bro, and stands there and takes pictures and then hops in the car and leaves. Kanye goes and gives bags away, bro. Like, he was giving Louis bags away out there in New York, bro. He's a, he's a thoroughbred. He's a real nigga, bro. He ain't no dope dealer. He's a producer. He's a real fucking artist. Big him up. That's the real Kanye. You know what I'm saying? So if you looking at this nigga with the space shoes. <laughs> and he's always dressed like it's winter. Yo, man, what the fuck? And then, and then, and then he got the space shoes on. What are you doing? Getting us ready for the infiltration? You want aliens down here? That's what that, 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 that's what they do. Right, this nigga be dressing like he off of Star Wars and shit, bro. Mars wearing shoes like that, and they don't want y'all to motherfucking know it. They wearing shoes like that on Mars and shit. Hey, you guys ever seen that movie called Pluto Nash, where they had like a whole ass city on? Uh, I think it was on the moon or whatever. The everything was like had like 10, 20 years past our technology and only person who was able to go up there was if you were rich enough and they wouldn't even tell the modern society or whatever you want to call it because motherfuckers wouldn't even be a, have enough money to live up there death con owns mars yeah so death con owns mars and this motherfucker he's trying to give us a little bit of his flavor and we walking around in big clonker ass shoes not knowing that we're getting ready for uh, infiltration. It's not a war no more, motherfucker. It's infiltration. It's your family. It's your mama. It's your daddy. It's your this. It's your that. It's your that. The world damn near didn't end it, and motherfuckers is sitting here acting like it's all the same. Oh, because of Def Con. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, we love that little Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Sitting out there eating in a restaurant. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I got my daddy's brain and my mama's soul. I'm sorry. <laughs> also recently, Dame Dash came out and said that he ranks, ranks Kanye above Jay-Z as Rockefeller's greatest artist. I mean, I would too, bro. I'm not, I'm not from New York, from the East, none of that, man. You feel me? I don't I never slap Jay-Z ever, bro, until... Around this age, you know what I mean? I ain't got to throw my age out there, you feel me? I am whatever you think I am, but shit. I don't even listen to Kanye West like that, but I feel like he had, I'm not going to say he had more of an impact, but for me personally, I listen to more Kanye West songs than I did uh, Jay-Z. But uh, to each his own, you feel me? I know Jay-Z got bars and shit, but being from California, I, I just ain't never, feel me, listen to that nigga like that. He rakes Kanye above Jay-Z as Rockefeller's greatest artist? Yep. Uh, okay. Well, that's because Jay-Z is Def Con. Mm. Okay. You agree with that or you disagree with that? I disagree with that. Okay. So you got Jay-Z. Is Jay-Z, how, where's Jay-Z at on your list? Jay-Z is basically at the top. Okay. I like Jay-Z. I like the way he does things. I like the way he moves. I like the way he he maneuvers shit. I like the way, you know what I'm saying, um, he be sunning niggas without having to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I like I like that kind of shit. Um, I don't know, man. This nigga keep <laughs> playing with his nose and shit, man. I hope he, I hope he's sober. I'm okay with aliens. But, nigga, you can't be just raping everybody and then trying to bring everybody up there down here. That's all I'm saying. Jay-Z does you. have a way of winning the argument without doing a lot of work. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of crazy. Like, I just the way feel like does. motherfuckers know not to go against Jay-Z because Jay-Z so in that top tier of the, you know, that group of people that if you say something bad about that man, he going to come for you, bro. A lot of motherfuckers got canceled because of Jay-Z, man. You really got to watch what you say. Uh, able to maneuver through things in the media and 
everything that he's had to deal with over the years. It, it's it's been impressive to Yo, see. Yo, man, you know what's beautiful is I could be a woman, right? Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was a mother in my past life, right? So what you got to realize is, is like, it's like, like, like the beauty of life is anybody can be anybody in anything at any time. This is the new America, the new planet. Okay. If you choose to, you can. See, what I like about Jigga is he gives you a chance, but he's also in the mind frame of a demented man. I like the demented man, bro. <laughs> I like the demented man. The, the demented man is how we got America. Okay? So we can't throw away Christopher Columbus. We got to right. keep him in here, even though he didn't took everybody's skin. Okay. This man, I lost. He, he lost me there. If anybody knows what the hell this nigga talking about, comment that shit below, bro, because I don't know what the fuck this man talking about right now. But uh, make sure you guys check out Orlando Brown's music, man. That's that's fucking crazy how he doesn't get no light shedded on his music and all he really gets views is from his mu is from his interviews. But you know, I feel like not to mix it's not I know it's not the same, but I feel like this is what FYBJ Main been trying to do is, you know, like he said, he is uh basically trolling motherfuckers to spread a awareness and motherfuckers who got the bigger message got it you know what i mean you're trying to put the guns down you feel me try to stop the violence i guess in chicago but at the same time he was trolling and it's fucked up that's how we got to get our messages out there man you got to fucking troll or say some outlandish shit just for motherfuckers to you know watch and that's just in the world that we live in today but that's just Human nature, you feel me? You can't blame us. So that's just how the world works, man. That's how the cookie crumbles.